Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Sonia Smith Never sifting imagined. through memories. Never imagined that I'd be burying my first first child this way. A sense of numbness has taken over. Learning last week, her daughter Alyssa was found in a shallow grave behind an abandoned home on Detroit's east side. Her hand sticking out of the ground, discovered by a utility worker among garbage and overgrown brush. I knew it was her. I don't know how it just just was an instinct that I just knew it was her. And fingerprints confirmed it. Alyssa Itchu at 28 had been addicted to heroin for about three years, recently doing a stint in rehab released in September. She was said she was ready to be clean. She was tired of that life. And so I was very optimistic that this was it. Her mom says it went from rehab to back out onto the streets. She only had the clothes on her back. She didn't have a phone or anything like that. And she was gone. Sonia tells us she searched for her daughter and acquaintances had sightings up until November when Detroit police put out this missing flyer. What do you think she's been doing the last few months? I mean, I've been trying not to think about it. Just doing whatever she can to, to get her drugs and survive that life, I guess. Last week in the area where she was known to use drugs near Seven Mile and Van Dyke off Hilldale, she was discovered. I'm disgusted that that people <laughs> that there are people like this. Sonia's friend April Gentle Core had lost her daughter unexpectedly five years ago, now setting up a fundraising page to help cover funeral costs for this grieving family. I had to take out my entire retirement to handle my daughter's costs for funeral. Sonia, who's now planning a proper burial, doesn't know what put her daughter in that shallow grave, but knows someone knows what happened. Even if it was an overdose, somebody buried her. So who would have buried her? We have checked in with the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office. They have not determined a cause of death for Alyssa as of Monday. They are working up a toxicology that takes about eight weeks to complete. Sources tell Fox 2 there were no obvious signs of trauma to her body. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.